Ah, okay. Um, how many of you use um, Yelp before they go to visit a restaurant or local businesses? Let me see your hand. All right. Okay. And how many people go even further to uh, check Yelp uh, on professional services? How many people? Okay, good. Um, you know what? I got a call today about uh, a business uh, being unfairly targeted by uh, over exaggerated negative review and I thought this is a good time to talk about it uh, to share with you uh, what's the legal status currently in California regarding the online reviews uh, and also what to do about it in my opinion okay uh, to give you a little history when Elk started to uh, when Elk came out a few years back um, a lot of professional services got hit by it. Um, and uh, um, to prevent that from happening, they usually, especially the dentists uh, or the doctors or the lawyers, for example, um, what happens is when uh, they engage a client, they ask a client to sign uh, a waiver or release or promise not to put any negative review on Yelp. Well, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, there's a specific uh, federal statute uh, make this con this type of contract uh, void. So um, you know you cannot telling your customer, um, you know, I will provide a service to you, but you agree not to uh, leave any negative remarks on my business later on. So that doesn't work. Okay, so that's number one. Uh, also, regarding considering the anonymous online reviewers, well, um, the case of uh, Glassdoor Inc. versus Superior Court, um, unfortunately, the Elp is not going to reveal uh, the, the identity of the reviewer. Okay, so as we see, there is a, uh, a, a name, the username on the Elp. Um, you know, the Yelp is n under no obligation to release any uh, information regarding the identity of that reviewer. Um, so if you don't know who is the one um, leaving the remark, you're pretty much out of luck. Uh, that, that's my interpretation of this, this rule. Now let's go even further with that. Okay, the, and the last thing about uh, the current status is um, the takedown order, okay? Interestingly, a few years back, there's a case called Hassel versus Bird. Um, the attorney sued, sued his client about a untrue remark uh, left in Elp. Okay, um, and I believe that this attorney, this uh, defendant, the person who left the remark, uh, did not uh, uh, defaulted, meaning he did not respond, or he or she did not respond to um, the lawsuit. Okay. At the end, the trial court ordered uh, that person to take down the negative remark. And that's not it. The Superior Court, the trial court, even ordered the Yelp to take that down. Um, interestingly, um, as you can see, the Yelp, you know, Yelp felt, hey, you can't do that. I wasn't even a party of the case. You can order me to do something when I'm not a when I'm not a the party to the case and I didn't have the opportunity to be heard, right? So they went to the superior court. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not superior court. They went to the appellate court. They, the Yelp appealed it, and um, the appeal court uh, agreed with the trial court. Okay, pretty much, um, you know, the appellate court in California uh, ruled not only. Yelp can be ordered to take down the negative remark pursuant to a trial court order. The specific federal statute that protects the uh, web host uh, from the third party liability doesn't apply to Yelp. So you're dealing with Yelp. They, have, they got loads of money. So uh, they appeal to the California Supreme Court. The California Supreme Court agreed to listen to the case. Uh, and I believe right now at this time it was the case was fully briefed um, and after the oral argument 
um, you know, when I receive the opinion, uh, one way or the other, um, you know, I will uh, do another video uh, regarding this issue, regarding that issue. Okay, uh, because that will pretty much uh, be a, a pretty big news among the legal community. So that's the three uh, important status, uh, current status right now uh, regarding the online review. Now let's talk about the practical matter. What happens if you uh, if you got one? Okay, um, for some reason. Um, you know, th this customer wasn't happy about your business, the, the service, services that he or she received, and they just, they just post something um, uh, on Yelp that is negative and doesn't help your business. And I can understand that people who, who uh, leave that kind of remark at a specific time when the emotion was high, uh, when they kind of pissed off, they're not going to be nice. Okay, I understand that. So therefore, a lot of time, uh, those remarks um, unfortunately are over exaggerated. But regardless, it is there. Uh, very hard to get down. Uh, you know. So what? What should you do now? Um, this is my opinion as to what you should do. Okay. Um, number one. You gotta realize that you cannot make everybody happy. Somebody is gonna, somebody is gonna make some comments about your business, and that's just the the fact of life. Okay, um, so you know when you receive one uh, negative remark, um, expect it. You know, what you know if it doesn't happen to you today, it's gonna happen to you sometime in the future. Now, if you get one, you roll with punches. Okay. Um, instead of instead of saying you know I'm gonna sue them for defamation, I'm gonna take legal action. Ask yourself, what happened? And I have seen a lot of good businesses. They just respond to negative reviews and and ask them to contact uh, the the management directly, and and so that they can know what happened, uh, and then they can make things right. Okay, and I think that's a very smart approach because you know people are going to read that too and if you're apologetic and want to make uh, things right for that uh, customer and you make a sincere effort uh, people are going to see that too and you know generally we, we, we all expect that not, nobody's perfect no business is perfect sometimes we made a mistake and if we have the sincere effort uh, to, to, to make things right uh, People is going to appreciate that, and it's going to reflect on your business, okay? And I think that's very important uh, um, for you to do that. And I've seen a lot of uh, businesses they they take a proactive approach, contacting the person who leaves the uh, negative remarks, ask them to uh, call them directly, and give them another opportunity to make things right, okay? Second, I believe that most people uh, believe that um, you know these reviews. I mean, they can tell between the real review uh, from the review that um, somebody just got mad and they just want to get back to you. Okay, I, and I think people is smart enough now. Uh, you know, they can make that make that dis um, distinction. Um, so you know. Instead of say, instead of uh, feeling bad, I think work hard and getting positive reviews, and eventually those negative one was just fade away, and that's my opinion. and And I hope um, you know, um, uh, I mean, th this is very difficult things, and Elp is here to say we all, as a business owner, we all need to deal with it, and uh, hopefully we all come up with the right strategy. So in the event that you get uh, one negative review, uh, you know how to deal with it. Plan ahead and um, deal with it uh, when it comes. Bye for now.